Hi, Akshay. Thank you so much for coming. I really appreciate it. And I know you've got an um, incredible history. I know you worked originally at, at PayPal and now you've got your own startup teller. Um, I saw too today that you had a bit of a win. Do you want to talk a bit about that? Sure. Uh, um, on Monday, we were at Founderspace uh, as part of their startup pitch contest. It's kind of like a shark tank, uh, Silicon Valley style. And uh, we happened to win it. Fantastic. Congratulations. Thank you. And um, so what's the, how is it the difference between being in a co corporation, because that's what PayPal is now, right, um, compared to going back and being in, in a startup? Um, no two days are the same in a startup. Right. Every day is different. You can actually pull it out and say each day is unique in its own way, which is not the case with corporate life. Corporate life tends to put you in a kind of a, a wheelhouse, if you will. It's. Um, I always compare it to um, years ago when I worked in the corporate world. It's a bit mind-numbing to so much structure and, um, um, yeah, I guess you know everything that's going to happen, really. It's it's pretty... Um, but startup life's so um, wonderful way that you can use your creativity and, yes. and all different parts of your brain rather than just being stuck in one silo, basically. So um, I was wondering if you um, could tell me a little bit about Teller. I'm interested. Sure. There are 78 million hourly wage workers in the United States, and the number one problem they face is income volatility. Uh, and the problem their employers face is attrition rate of 70%. Right? So Teller was born at the intersection of these two problems. I bumped into it uh, while uh, heading product at PayPal Research Labs, and then I left PayPal and I started pursuing this problem. And what we have done is we've created a mobile-first solution that lets employers provide ca daily, daily cash incentives for behaviors that matter to their business line mm -hmm. to these employees, thereby reducing attrition while also contributing towards their financial stability. And that's, that's, that's our uh, solution, and that's caught uh, a little bit of fire off late. Uh, we, it was a journey to get there, but, uh, um, you know, we've got something here. Uh, and what do you mean by caught a little bit of fire? What happened? Uh, we've got some interest. Uh, for, uh, we, we have, oh, first of all, we have not yet launched. We are launching in January, wow. and we already have a paying customer. We are net revenue positive. Uh, oh, that's really good. Thanks. And that's often unusual in the valley, right? <laughs> yep, yep. Uh, and then we have uh, a few large food, uh, uh, you know, quick service restaurants that are interested in piloting it and testing it out with their customers. Uh, we also recently hired our first behavioral scientist, and so we're working very closely with him uh, to build a really powerful system that. And have you been funded at all, or is it all self-funded? Uh, it is. Uh, we have received angel funding of forty-five thousand uh, dollars. Till now, we've been using that. We are now uh, uh, in the market for uh, institutional funding. Uh, yeah. Great. Well, good luck with that. <laughs> and um, I was wondering if you could give me your viewpoint about where you think things are heading as far as the fintech world goes in two thousand and eighteen. Well, there are multiple waves. Uh, I'll focus on the wave that you know uh, we are very close yes. to, uh, which is the labor sector. Uh, labor is going through a massive shift. 79, 78 million, 59% of the population is hourly wage workers, and they have 100% income volatility. And that number is only increasing. 53 million people, um, I think about 37 or 40%, are 1099 workers, or freelancers. Uh, and this number is only going to increase uh, as we progress to 2018, 2019, 2020 for the next three years. Um, so that is the major shift. And their needs and everything revolving in this, what we call the gig economy, I think is going to be a big factor in any kind of financial technology and services that come out in the market. Great. Well, um, it certainly looks like a bright future. It's been a great year for fintech this year, and um, I'm praying and hoping for all our ecosystem that it'll just be booming. Same here. Same here. <laughs> Thank you so much, and I'm th uh, really looking forward to this panel. Same here. Thank you for the opportunity.